welcome to another video today i'm gonna look at some of the hats that i did get from europe so i got a ton of hats here we're gonna take a look at them i'm gonna let you guys know my favorite and i'll try them all on as well let's just make this nice and fun and yeah so as you guys can see i'm wearing my barcelona jacket so this is like one of the jackets that i did get while i was in while i was in barcelona it's making noise it's making noise so i think what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna keep this one on this is one of the barcelona shirts that i did get i'm gonna start an order based on each one that i got depending on the time so the first one was this one here this is the first hat that i did get i did wear this a couple of times and i it looks like i did it does need to wash but overall i did like this hat i like the structure of this hat when i look at hats i like to look at that way the hat is structured if it's gonna look good on me obviously so let's try it on real quick as you guys can see this is how the hat looks hat looks pretty decent i would say like i would say obviously i have to structure a little bit but this as soon as i wore this hat i was like yeah you know what i can wear this hat i can see myself wearing this hat i like how it's black i like how it has the visible milan as well so that's a, this really nice hat also question for you guys do you guys keep this part or do you guys remove it yeah so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna keep the hat on and then as we switch hats i'm going to change the hat and then go from there so the next hat that I did get was this hat. Now this hat I did like. It's very it's similar to this hat, same same thing, it's just different color. When I tried this hat, I was I liked it because it has a fall type of vibe. Normally I wouldn't wear a hat like this and it's kind of hard to match this hat with a, a lot of different things, but I liked it because of the color. It's different. It's not a visible Milan hat, right? If someone looks at it, they're gonna be like, oh, okay, this is a cool hat. They're not gonna recognize that this is a Milan hat. But again, like sometimes you like to wear hats because just it being fashionable. So this is the one that I got and I'm gonna try it on. It's gonna be very similar to the other hat. Now I like this one. It suits my skin tone a little bit, little bit as well. So I do like this hat. When I tried it on, I was like, yeah, this is a pretty nice hat. I actually wore this hat a couple of times as well. And it's pretty easy to structure. It's a little bit loose on my head right now, but it is pretty easy to structure. So yeah, I do like this hat as well. Uh, I, I'm not like a hat person. Like I don't always wear hats, but sometimes I like to put on put on hats. And so getting these hats was like more of like a thing where I would collect the hats, of course, but also have some hats to put on, especially if it's like a sunny day or sometimes, you know, right now I don't really have it. I, I haven't gotten a haircut in about like two weeks. So I haven't gotten like a proper haircut since I left. I got one haircut, but you know, that's not my barber. So it's a little bit different. So yeah, so this is, this is like the hat that I would say. This is one of the hats that I got. I think I would wear this hat with like maybe one of like my jackets or a nice outfit or something like that. This is a hat that I, that, that can be relatively fashionable so this is the one of the hats that i did get so the next hats that i did get were barcelona hats now barcelona is the team that i support so of course it just made sense to get barcelona hats even if i don't wear them it's the team i support so first hat we'll look at is this one here so this is just like the regular barcelona hat you know it has like a red red brim there and it has the barcelona logo it has a red brim it has a barcelona logo this one I've never like worn out or yet or anything like that. And obviously because of traveling, the brim is a little bit off, but I do have to just adjust the brim and just make it, just adjust it. So this is the hat. It's a very straightforward hat. It looks, you know, it looks fine on my head. It doesn't have any type of a, uh, yeah. So this, 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 this is just like the regular hat. You know, this is like, if I wore this, and I wore this. This is like a very try hard type type of thing. But I think, you know, overall, like this is a nice hat. I would I would wear this hat if I did wear this, maybe like on a Champions League day or if Barcelona won the league, I'd wear this type of hat. Like, you know, this is something that I would wear. So yeah, this is this is this is like the hat that I did get. Nothing crazy about it, but again, this is a nice. Let's see how it looks backwards. I don't usually wear hats backwards, but sometimes I do when I'm at the gym. Just so that I can see a little bit more, I'll wear it. Now the next hat we're gonna look at is this one here. So this is actually like I think one of my favorite hats for uh for the reason that I can wear it backwards. This one I, I'm not a big fan of it wearing it at the front. It looks has a very interesting look to it. Like I probably won't wear it at the front to be honest. From the back it does look fine. Also I don't know why sometimes it, it looks like it's slanted. Like I think it's just the camera. Yeah so this is this is this is how the hat looks when it, you're wearing it at the front, right? Like that, right? it looks it looks decent like i've I, but i wouldn't wear it but this one i could wear it like this and it feels like it feels fine like normally like for me i don't usually wear backwards hats but it should be something like this i think this is actually meant maybe meant for it to be worn backwards a little bit more i do like it backwards i could wear it at the gym or i can you know put, pop my headphones in and kind of wear it like this 
you know what I mean? Like, this is something that you could wear like that. And you guys know when you guys wear backwards hats, sometimes it like messes with your hair a lot. This one, I find it, it's a lot better. It doesn't mess with your hair like the way that the other ones would. So this is a, a hat that I would carry with me, you know, maybe if I'm traveling or maybe sometimes I'm just, this is one of those hats. This is a very visible Barcelona hat. Like you can see it says the logos there. So this one is Barcelona hat. This one, I do like the brim. I like everything about this hat. It's a white hat. So obviously there's more risks of it getting dirty, but I do like the structure of this hat. I, I think this hat is probably one of the better looking hats that I did get. I wish that they had this like this type of hat in like the other ones as well. Cause I, one thing I do like about this hat is just the way that it feels, the, the way that it looks on my head as well. So that's something I do like about this hat specifically. Yeah, so that, that's one thing that I do like about it. All these hats that I did get, uh, those were all at the Cap New store. The ones that I got with the Milan, they were, I got all of those at the San Siro. So that is where I got all those hats. But this one, it looks good. It looks good. I feel good with it. And yeah, so that's the, that's this hat here. And then finally, the last hat I did get at the new camp was this one here. This is like the very discreet type of hat. This one kind of reminds me of the black one, like the black Milan hat, but it's a little bit different. You guys can tell. This one looks, this one has, is a little bit, it has, it's a little bit bigger. The brim is also a little bit more flat, but I can change that as well. The logo is very discreet. So this is a hat that I would probably wear. And also you guys can see, it has a very different type of texture. You guys can see black hats, they do tend to lint up a little bit. So I do have to grab my lint. And actually, one cool thing about the Barcelona hats, if you guys look inside, you guys can see that it says, Es un clam. Let me know if you guys know what that means. And yeah, so let's try this on. So yeah, this is a, this is a very nice hat. Like I think, I think out of all the hats that I have, this is probably like the most wearable hat that you can just wear anytime. You can wear just anywhere. Like you can really just, it's a black hat, right? So it also has like the Barca on the side. It also has a Barca there too. So it has a Barca on the side, the logos there. It's actually a lot more visible than I thought it would be. So that's a nice hat. You can flatten it, you can keep it like this. Yeah, this is the hat that I would probably wear a lot more often. So this is like one of the hats. And the next hat I got was this one here. So this is the Manchester City hat. I got this at the Etihad. So this is uh, the Manchester City Stadium. So this one I just got because, uh, you know, it's a blue hat. I don't know if I'd wear it, to be honest. But, you know, I, I just got this is more like a collectible. So let's just try on the hat. Yeah, so this is, the, this is the hat. Nothing crazy, but it is a nice hat, as you guys can see. The colors are city colors. Like, I think if you're a city fan, this is a hat that you'd want to wear because it's visibly Manchester City. But overall, like, you know, I, I could find myself maybe going out and wearing this hat, but I wouldn't wear this hat, like, on the daily or something like that. This is a visible Manchester City type of hat, right? So that's this hat here. And then the next hat I got is this one here, the West Ham hat. So this is at the game. As you guys can see, it has the finals, the conference league final type of logo and embroidery. So you guys can see that. And this is what this is how the hat looks. I'm not a fan of the structure of this hat, to be honest. Out of all the hats, this is probably the one I would wear the least, simply because the way it's structured, I don't know why it's structured like this, but it's structured in a really, really weird way. It's like my ears start like they just pop off like this. Maybe if I wore it differently, it would look better. But even then, like let's see backwards, maybe backwards I'd wear it. Backwards, maybe. Yeah, it, it looks better. It looks a little bit better backwards, but I wouldn't, to be honest, I probably wouldn't wear it. This is more of like something that I just got collectible. Okay, it's the winners 2023. This is definitely something that I'm just gonna collect. I'm just gonna keep it with me. I'm not gonna wear it. I'm just gonna keep it. And then finally, I got this one. This is like a last minute type of thing. I got this when I was in when I was in Paris. In terms of hats, I think this one looks the best, to be honest. Like, this is the nicest looking one. I don't know how it's gonna hold up in terms of like uh, longevity because the fabric is very, very different. But this is, in my opinion, probably one of the, the nicest hats that, like color wise, everything wise, in my opinion, this is the nicest hat. Like this is, but again, the only issue is I don't like PSG. So so for the, the fact that I got this, it, it's just a nice hat. So really just for aesthetic, that's it. This one, I'm not a PSG fan. It's pretty discreet that it's PSG, so that's cool. But this is like, I think this is like one of the most unique looking type of hats. It's very simple, but the fabric is very different. The way that PSG is embroidered. Those are the hats that I did get. In the next video, I'll show you guys the scarves that I did get while I was in Europe. And yeah, so let me know which was your favorite hat. And I guess I will talk to you guys next video. Don't forget to like, subscribe. Don't forget to stay authentic. Peace.